Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this brand new crochet pattern design, and it's called a Snowflake Sparkle Doily. Now, don't panic if you don't have sparkle yarns. You don't have to use sparkle yarns, and as a matter of fact, on today's demo, I'm not going to use any sparkle yarns. I decided to do the snowflake in the center and then use a couple of different colors of Christmas and then end with the white. It was just my choices and the yarns that I had. And we'll talk more about yarns in just a minute. Now this doily measures approximately 12 by 12, so it's the perfect size if you wanna make these up and use them as placemats or put a candle in the center bowl of candy or just display them out in a beautiful fashion. I think they're absolutely stunning, but you're going to find out it's a really easy pattern and I love snowflakes. <laughs> now you can find this complete pattern with pictures on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video in that description box. Okay, let's talk yarns. Now the yarns that I used were all medium weight number four yarns. And I love to do doilies with medium weight number four yarns. You can still make a lacy beautiful doily, but it's a little bit more substantial and it seems like it goes through the wash really well. This sparkle yarn here is I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And you can get Sparkle Yarns from Lion Brand. You can also get it from Red Heart Sparkle. I think Red Heart with Love has a Sparkle as well. And then also um, Joann's, their brand, has a Sparkle Yarn as well. But you don't have to use Sparkle or Metallic Yarns. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using this Powder Blue and this Off White. And this is all from I Love This Yarn, just your basic Hobby Lobby medium weight number four acrylic yarn. You can also make this in cotton if you prefer. And doilies look nice stitched up in cotton. I think some of the softer cottons look really nice with it. Um, so there's lots of choices there for yarns. Get in your yarn stash, see what you can come up with. You're going to need a total for the whole doily of about three ounces. That's probably going just a little bit high, but I want to make sure you have enough to get it done. We're going to be stitching with our eye hook today, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. All right, let's get started. I'm starting with my off-white color because that's the center of the snowflake. So we're going to start with our slip knot and chain five. Now we're going to join this chain five into a circle. So put the tail of yarn over your hook and pull it through. Then we'll snug that down and tie a knot. That's called a stay knot. Now if you would prefer to use a magic circle or another method to make your circle, totally fine. All right, so I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, and chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as a double crochet chain one. Now we're going to stitch a double crochet chain one. And what we're going to do is stitch. We have our chain four that counts as a double crochet chain one, and we need to stitch 11 more so we have a total of 12 double crochet chain one in this circle. Okay. 
All right, let's see how many I've stitched. So here's our first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <clears throat> eleven, and twelve. And remember that chain four counted as our first, so and we stitched eleven, so we have a total of twelve. We're going to join to the third chain, one, two, three, of that chain four with a slip stitch. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the chain one space. So that we'll be stitching in that chain one space on the next row. All right, I'm going to snug that down a little bit because I want to turn this over. All right, so I've threaded that tail of yarn on my needle and we're going to go ahead and weave this in and close up that hole my thread back on my needle. There we go. Now it's okay if it has a small hole there because this is a doily, but I like to close it up. I think it looks much neater at the center of our snowflake. All right, make sure you get that nice and secure. Going back and forth and stitching through fibers. All right, then we'll clip that off. And so for row one, we have 12 sets of double crochet, chain one, then we joined to the third chain of our chain four and slip stitched in the first chain one space. All right, let's do row two. So we've slip stitched in that chain one space and we're going to chain three. Now we're going to double crochet in that same chain one space and chain one. So it counts as a double crochet, double crochet, chain one, because our chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we'll go to our next chain one space and stitch two double crochets and chain one. Then we'll go to the next chain one space and stitch two double crochets, chain one. And we'll repeat this all the way around in each of the chain one spaces, stitching two double crochets, chain one. All the way around and join back to our chain three. We have completed round or row two. We have 12 sets of two double crochet, chain one. We're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch, slip stitch in the next double crochet, and then slip stitch in the chain one space. Now we're going to chain three. This chain three counts as one double crochet. We're going to double crochet in that same chain one space and chain two and then two double crochets in the same chain one space. So we have two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Now we're going to chain one, go to the next chain one space, and stitch a single crochet, and chain one. We'll go to the next chain two, or chain one space, and stitch two double crochets, one, two, chain two, and two double crochets, one and two. Chain one, single crochet in the next, chain one space, and chain one, and then repeat, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets in that chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, and chain one. And we'll repeat that three more times, so we'll have six points and six single crochets. So I completed row three. Here's my last single crochet, chain one. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch, slip stitch in the next double crochet, 
and then slip stitch in our chain 2 space and chain 3. Now row 4 or round 4 is exactly the same as round 3. The only difference is we're going to be chaining 2 before and after our single crochet. So the corners will be the same. So double crochet because our chain 3 counts is our first, chain 2, and 2 double crochets in that chain 2 space. chain 2, single crochet in the single crochet, and chain 2. Now we'll go to our next corner and stitch 2 double crochets, 1, 2, chain 2, and 2 double crochets. And chain 2 then single crochet in the single crochet, and chain two. Now we'll go to the next chain two space and stitch those two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. One and two. Chain two, single crochet in the single crochet, and chain two. And then we'll repeat this on these last three points and join back to our chain three. I have completed row four. Here's my last chain two. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and then we're going to slip stitch in the double crochet. Now we're going to bring in our blue and we're going to grab that and slip stitch with that. That way our stitch is in the chain two space because we're changing colors. And I've gone ahead and clipped off my white. That double or that chain three counts is our first double crochet. So I'm going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet, just like we've done on the two previous rows. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And instead of stitching a single crochet here, we're going to stitch a triple V stitch. And what that means is we're going to put two wraps on our hook, we're going to go in the V stitch and stitch a triple stitch. Now we're going to chain one and stitch another triple in that single crochet stitch. And that gets us a V stitch that we stitched with triple stitches. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and go to our next chain two space and stitch those two double crochets, one and two. Chain two and two double crochets. Chain three, we'll stitch our triple chain one, and another triple in that single crochet, and chain three. And what this does is because it makes it a little bit lacy, it opens it up and brings attention to the snowflake that's in the center of our doily. All right, let's do that again two double crochets, one and two, chain two and two double crochets. Chain three, triple, chain one and triple in the single crochet, and chain three. We're going to repeat this three more times and join back to our chain three over here. So I have completed row five. We have six points that have two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, 
chain three, and then we have our triple, chain one triple, which is a triple V-stitch, and then chain three six times in our blue. So here's my last chain three. I'm going to join to my chain three with a slip stitch, slip stitch in my uh, double crochet, and then slip stitch in the chain two space and chain three. And that is the way that row five should look. Now let's do row six. So the corner is going to be stitched the same, or the points. Chain three counts our first double crochet, double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Now the side is stitched a little bit different. We're going to chain one. We're going to stitch a regular double crochet V-stitch in this chain three space. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Then we'll stitch a chain one and stitch a regular V-stitch in our triple V-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then chain one. And we'll stitch a third V-stitch in the chain three space. And chain one. So we stitched three V-stitches with chain ones in between. <clears throat> now we'll stitch to the next corner or point and stitch our two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Chain one. V-stitch in the chain three space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain one. V-stitch in the triple V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain one, and V-stitch in the chain three space, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And chain one. <clears throat> and this is the way that row six is worked. The corners or points are the same, and then the sides, we have a chain one V-stitch, chain one V-stitch, chain one V-stitch, and chain one. And we'll repeat this on these other sides, and again, join back to our chain three. So I have completed row six. Here's my last chain one. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch. Again, slip stitch in our double crochet, and then slip stitch in our chain one space. Now, on the other doily, I changed from uh, red to green. I'm going to change back to my white. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn, and I'm going to bring in my white, but I want it to be in that chain one space. So I'm going to take out that last slip stitch, put my hook in and grab that white, and then I can chain three with that white. All right, so we've chained three. We're going to double crochet, chain two, just like we've been doing for our points or corners. Now we're going to chain two, <clears throat> and we're going to single crochet in the chain one space of that first V-stitch. Then we'll chain two, and the center one, we're going to stitch a point. So it's going to be two double crochets, one, two, chain two and two double crochets in that V-stitch. And chain two. Then we'll go to the next V-stitch and stitch a single crochet. And chain two. And so what we're doing is we're adding an extra point in that center V-stitch on the sides that's going to give us more points.
points to our snowflake. All right, so now we're to the next point, or the chain two space of the next point, and we stitch it just normally. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Chain two. We're going to go to the first V stitch and stitch a single crochet in that chain one space chain two and stitch a point in that center V stitch. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Chain two, single crochet in the chain two space of that next V stitch and chain two. All right, so let's take a look at it so you can get an idea of what I'm doing. So on the previous rows, we had six points. Now on row seven, we're going to have 12 points with chain two, single crochet, chain two in between. All right. So we're going to stitch the point in the point two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, just like we've been doing. Chain two, we'll go to the first chain one space of our three V stitches and stitch a single crochet. Chain two, then in the center V stitch is where that uh, additional point goes. Two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. And chain two. Then we go to the third V stitch on the side there and stitch a single crochet, chain two. All right, my mat is sliding a little bit. And so we're adding a point in between each of the points making our snowflake open up even more. So we'll repeat this on these last three sides and join back to our chain three. So I have completed row seven. So now we have 12 points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points with 12 single crochets in between. So again, we're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, and then slip stitch in that chain two space, and chain three. Now we're ready for row eight, and row eight is pretty much the same as row seven. The only difference is we'll be chaining three before and after our single crochet. So again, our chain three counts as our first double crochet, we're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the chain two space of each of our points. We're going to chain three, single crochet in the single crochet, and chain three. Then that brings us to our next point, and we'll stitch two double crochets chain two, and two double crochets. Chain three, and single crochet in the single crochet. Chain three, and to the next point. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Chain three, single crochet in the single crochet, and chain three. So it's really simple. We're just extending the points of our snowflake. And we'll repeat this working all the way around and again, join back to our chain three. 
So I have completed row 8. We joined to our chain 3, we slip stitched in the double crochet, and then slip stitched in the chain 1 space. So again, you have 12 points of your snowflake. I'm really loving the two-tone color, although I really do like the three colors as well. All right, we just have one more row to go. So we're going to change colors for our last row and bring back in this pretty powder blue. All right, so we're gonna take out that last slip stitch. We're gonna go in and bring in our blue and chain one. Now, the way row um, nine works is you're going to single crochet, we're going to chain three, slip stitch in the top of that single crochet, and then single crochet in that same chain two space. And that makes the little pico stitch or bump. We're going to chain six. Now we're going to go to the single crochet and stitch a single crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch in that top of that single crochet, and then single crochet again, and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me move my mat up because it moved down on us. Now we'll go to the next chain two space, single crochet, pico stitch, and single crochet, and chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. And this gives us this sort of lacy edge and these pico stitches gives us those nice little bumps and it just gives it just a fun and simple edge. So single crochet and we pico by one, two, three chains and slip stitch in the top of that single crochet and then single crochet again. And chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it moves along nice and quickly for this last row. And I do like to go through both those loops of the single crochet when I'm doing my pico stitch. One, two, three, four, five, oop, and <laughs> get in there, and six. All right, so that's the way row eight is done, our last row, and we'll repeat this working all the way around our snowflake and join back to our first single crochet. So I have completed row nine with those fun pico stitches, and I think it really adds a nice lacy effect to the edge. So here's my last chain six. We're going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. Let's make our loop a little bit big so we can go in and grab that loop and pull it to the back so we can tie off to the back. Now we do have a little bit of weaving in to do everywhere where we changed colors, so we'll take our needle and weave those in. But this is the way that your doily should look after row nine. Isn't that gorgeous? So my ends are all weaved in and my doily is complete. One thing you may want to do is just to dampen it and shape it a little bit. You can use a blocking board or just a towel. I like to set the, a towel on top of my dryer and use pins and just pin it so that it will be nice and crisp. So here's the blue and white one that we did. And then here is the red and green one with the snowflake white in the center and the white edges. And so you can make them several different ways. You can use a regular medium weight number four yarn and come up with some pretty colors, 
or you can stick with your Christmas basics. It's totally up to you and of course this one is sparkle yarns this one is regular yarns. They both need a little bit of blocking which I'm going to do but I love them. I think they're fun and they're super easy to make as well. And again, if you need more help, there are pictures on the blog, and sometimes seeing a still picture is a little bit easier to understand the row than a video.